Okay, welcome back uh, to the video for the second script. So as you can see here uh, on the right hand side, we still have the variables from the first script. So note that uh, the first part of all four scripts are always um, a bit redundant uh, in case you want to restart it. So starting from the top, again, we have here the import of the important packages that we would need. We have the definition of our home directory. We have the definition of our um, data set that we could do. And alternatively, what you could also do now is uh, by uncommenting this comment here, uh, this, this command, uh, you could simply uh, use the read RDS command to uh, re-import the data set that you have previously created. So remember, in the first script, we have uh, made the now omit command, we have made the set names command. So all commands that potentially could take a while if you have a big data set. And what you could do now is use read RDS to just simply re-import that RDA file that you created in the first script. But we do not have to do that now. So we can scroll through. So we also don't need to do this part. We don't need to uh, do the now mid again. And the set names also uh, does not need to be done now. And we also don't have to um, uh, create the regression task again because we created this in the first script as well. So basically there's in the second script, we don't have too much uh, to do basically if we have the variables from the first script. So what we do now is again, uh, create a random forest because the main objective of this script is to perform a spatial cross validation. And for this, we again need to create a learner. And the learn in this case is uh, using the regression from the ranger package again. And it uses here, in this case, an mtray of one and an mtray of 300. So these two values again are uh, selected um, um, based on our experience. But um, what we can also do here is if we uncomment these two lines, you might not find them in the scripts that you have, but you can simply just um, take them, take them as you as you see them here. So what this command does is it uh, imports, it imports the tune RF variable that we created in the first script. Yeah, and um, if you have this loaded, then you can simply just uh, um, hit enter, and then it will import the tune RF. And then in the second script, oh sorry, a second command. You can just import values from this, this tune RF into your uh, make learner command. So this command, so um, this command right here, and this command right here is basically the same thing, with the difference that here we have selected manually two values, and here we are actually using our tuned file, our tuned model. Um, and use the optimized parameters for our random forest modeling. So just to show you what it looks like, uh, the TuneRF um, a file has a, a series of parameters to choose from. And if we, for example, go uh, into X and then use mtry or numtrees, or we can just simply use X, then we are given the mtry, the optimized, and the optimized number of trees. Yeah? So this combination gives you the best RMSE result. Possibly not the best time optimized result, but the best RMSE optimized result. And with this command, you can just simply reuse those values into your regression. But for now, we will stick with the values that we have used. But I encourage you to try using the values from your tuned model. So we will stick with 1 and 300 for the sake of processing time. We will use the get hyperparameters um, uh, command for our learner to uh, see the number of threads that are used and also um, see here again the um, yeah, parameters to choose from uh, for our um, processing. So now let's move on and go through the actual spatial cross validation. Uh, task. So here we define a resampling um, um, algorithm that can be 
chosen based on what MLR is offering. So again, I encourage you to visit the MLR webpage and go through their um, uh, different methods of uh, validation. Uh, so you can find the one that is suitable for you. But uh, um, a repeated spatial cross-validation in our case uh, is, a, is a very precise method that is spatially weighted and that allows you um, a less biased view on your validation results. So in this case, we have um, a spatial cross-validation that uses five folds and we have 10 repetitions. So uh, in total, we have 50 iterations. And again, as mentioned earlier, uh, this is uh, something that can be adjusted. So if you feel like you have a, a laptop that has maybe only four gigs of RAM, for example, then you might want to consider to um, maybe lower the repetition number to five or even two, right? But for now, we will um, stick to 10 and just use this as our resampling algorithm here. As soon as you have run the command uh, outer to create your uh, resampling uh, strategy, you can uh, run the next command, which performs the actual spatial cross validation, which is creating a parameter called Woody Cover uh, Spatial Cross Validation in this case. This again uh, might take a while, so you can uh, you can already see that spatial cross validation takes a lot of time, and uh, even with these parameters, so, so we have only five folds and we have only ten repetitions. So usually you would go for a higher number to uh, make your your estimates even more precise. So this again can take a while. Okay, as you can see, uh, the processing has now finished. Uh, we finished uh, 50 iterations. And if we look at the output here, uh, you can see that for each iteration, we have a different RMSE that was being calculated. And uh, from this, uh, from this, from these values, we now have an aggregated result here of twenty four point two um, in the RMSE. So the resulting file that we now have is a um, yeah. We can just have a quick look. We can also have a look at the parameters that are given uh, for this file. So we have the learner ID, the task ID, so that for example afterwards we know what kind of um, Mm -hmm. characteristics uh, we defined for our learners and the task. Uh, we also have the entire prediction given here. We have the measures for our training and our test set. And so you can see that we have uh, a number of variables that we can have a look at and see uh, even more details about our cross-validation. But we will not uh, look into this now in more de detail. So to finalize this second script, we will now save our RDS again. So we will um, export uh, the result of our cross-validation. Uh, so if we want to use it at a later point. And with this, we finished the second part of this tutorial.